Senators learned Tuesday that the oil tanker that sank off the coast of Oriental Mindoro, causing a massive oil spill, lacked a permit to operate. To tell us more, here's our Senate reporter, Daniza Fernandez, reporting live. Daniza, what are the latest developments from the Senate hearing today? Yes, during the hearing of the Senate Committee on Environment, Natural Resources and Climate Change, Senator Cynthia Villar said that the owner of the oil tanker that caused an oil spill in Oriental Mindoro may not be able to claim insurance for the incident as they lack a permit to operate based on the accident report of the Maritime Industry Authority or Marina. Senator Risa Ontiveros also noted that there are seven items in the pre-departure inspection checklist of MT Princess Empress that are not ticked off including the Certificate of Public Convenience, or CPC. Marina Administrator Hernani Fabia and Philippine Coast Guard, or PCG Vice Admiral Joseph Coime, agreed that the tanker should not have set sail because of not meeting all the requirements. Coime said that they will ask their national headquarters to conduct administrative investigations into the possible lapses of their personnel. Senators likewise learned that MT Princess Empress has set sail nine times without an amended CPC covering the vessel. Moreover, Pola Oriental Mindoro Mayor Jennifer Cruz has rejected the help being offered by the owner of MT Princess Empress as Cruz believes the bid to extend aid is overdue. According to Fritz City, Vice President of Vessel Owner RDC Reeled Marine Services, they asked Cruz about the needs of affected residents in her municipality but were declined. Cruz also said that the firm reached out to them after they spoke about the matter on national television and that she already refused the help offer because several of her constituents were then getting sick and affected. During the same hearing, Oriental Mindoro Governor Humerlito Dolor said the PCG's spill booms are insufficient to contain the oil leak in the province which has reached parts of Palawan and western Visayas. Dolor adds that the oil spill woes are becoming bigger and bigger every day because the truth is being covered. According to Dolor, the PCG's spill booms span for 250 to 300 meters only. Government data shows that there is an oil spill along 55 kilometers of the country's coastlines. MT Princess Empress, which was carrying 800,000 liters of industrial fuel, sank on February 28 off the coast of Nauhan Town in Oriental Mindoro Province. Subsequently, the oil spill ensued, affecting around 20,000 families in Oriental Mindoro. Back to you, Neil. That's Deniza Fernandez reporting live.